Hi everyone and welcome to our weekly Twin Flame reading. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful week. Now this reading is for those who are in a Twin Flame connection. Um, we're going to basically just get an update on that and see what is going on collectively for this week. Please bear in mind that time is fluid. So whilst I channel messages for this week, you know, it might be that um, the future predictions take a little bit longer to come to fruition. Also, if you guys want um, a more kind of like personal twin flame update then check out the pick a card i did on thursday because that was a twin flame connection update pick a card reading and um, with three groups to choose from so let us see what is happening right now i'm hearing frustration so there seems to be some frustration coming from the divine masculine right now and um, i'm showing a roadblock so he feels quite blocked in taking action but we've got this ace of cups so this is really really good so recently the divine masculine has had a very big heart chakra um awakening so the divine masculine right now could be feeling quite overwhelmed with his emotion um especially because we have these roadblocks in the way so he's feeling maybe quite annoyed but he cannot give the offer give the love that he wants there seems to be a lot of like murky waters here, a lot going on underneath the, oh, wow, under the scenes guys, um, behind the scenes, sorry. Ace of Swords came out and look what is on the bottom of my deck. Three Aces, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. Guys, you cannot make this up, like three Aces right at the beginning of our reading. One, 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 I've been seeing that everywhere. Um. In fact, I'm so sure that I put it on, it was in one of the morning messages, I think, uh, that 111 came through really strong. So 111 is really indicating that there is a new beginning taking place. Down, Luna. So the Ace of Cups, with the Ace of Swords, um, to start with, that is kind of confirming that you can expect a break breakthrough in communication here. Your counterpart is planning to tell you something which is going to reveal some of their kind of more hidden emotions. Um, and I do feel like they are planning to try and offer this fresh start. They're, they're trying to get things moving here, so open up some more loving communication. Um, and I do feel there's a bit of a plan that your Divine Masculine has. So no wonder he's feeling frustrated right now when he has all this energy of all these new beginnings that he wants to offer, but he doesn't maybe feel able to do that just yet because of these roadblocks. So let's see what is actually standing in the way here. Ten of Pentacles. So the thing which is the bl biggest block right now in this connection is that your counterpart wants to make sure that this lasts. So because he wants to make sure that this lasts, he doesn't want to just kind of um, act impulsively on this like, you know, the energy, the new feelings that he has. Um, he wants to make sure that this has like the foundation to go the distance. So right now the Divine Masculine is feeling very overwhelmed emotionally, really wanting to experience a breakthrough in this connection, but is also very aware that he wants this to, to actually like, have a good foundation rather than it being like another cycle which you two have experienced. So with the Ten of Pentacles, he seems to be focusing on getting like his finances in order, making sure that his environment is safe and secure for this relationship. There's going to be some like negotiation talks here in this connection, talking about the next step here. I feel like he is um, wanting to talk to you about how you can plan for the future here. He seems to be showing up quite unannounced to have this conversation with you. The full. All these cards are literally confirming what Spirit is showing me before I pull them. So he's going to take a bit of a risk here and just show up without any kind of invitation to try and talk to you about this fresh start. To try and talk to you about how you can both like move into this next chapter together. He definitely seems to be struggling with his words right now. So I, I'm showing someone writing a script, which means that he's like planning what he's saying and then like predicting what you're going to reply back. And 
He's, he's spent a lot of time just like overthinking this conversation a little bit because he's quite nervous about coming towards you. Now we have the Nine of Pentacles. So he wants to take this leap of faith towards you. Um, guys, for a lot of you, your Divine Masculine has been single for quite some time. Or maybe like in separation with you physically for some time. And he wants to move away from that separation. So even though your counterpart may very well have you know, been enjoying their, been enjoying their, like, single lifestyle, kind of, just, like, nurturing themselves, focusing on work and finances, um, he's definitely wanting to move away from that and look towards starting a family and, like, laying a foundation together, so the fool is literally, if you see the way I've put these on the table, the fool is literally leaving the nine of pentacles in order to jump into the Ten of Pentacles. So he is trying to leave behind this single, maybe bachelor lifestyle to move towards something which offers commitment, stability, family roots. Um, so yeah, you know, he's kind of had a very big change of heart. That's what these aces are all indicating, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands. This is your counterpart being like, do you know what? I actually don't want... To do things the same way anymore. I want to be different. I want to now start thinking about the long term future. Um, I want to start thinking about, you know, my life moving forwards because I don't want to be stuck in this place forever. With this Knight of Swords, I don't always want to be on an adventure. Um, I want to be a king. I don't want to just be this knight all of my life. So your counterpart is now seeking some kind of second chance with you here because they have had a massive change in perspective. This person has been very in and out of your life. Um, and maybe even over the last 12 months, you, you might not have heard from this person much because that Knight of Swords energy is just saying like, I feel during the last 12 months, this person has been fairly absent or very in and out, like without being able to offer any kind of commitment. Like sometimes they might have come in really hot and other times they've definitely been quite cold and detached. So you've been getting real mixed signals from this person for at least a year here, but now they're feeling more balanced. They've had this like change of perspective about relationships and about what matters to them. And they are seeking this second chance with you with this justice card. They want to try and clear some kind of karma between you both. They want to like clear up something here um, and come back in with like quite a lot of strong energy here offering these new beginnings. So they're definitely planning on talking to you um, to try and like see where this can go next. You know, what is next for you both? Look what just flipped, guys. Four of Wands. Your person now wants harmony. They now want this union, this stability. Guys, I don't know what has happened during this last week, but something huge has shifted. The Divine Masculines are no longer desiring detachment from their Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculine is actually calling out for his Divine Feminine and saying, look, I'm coming home. I want this. I want you. I want to make this work. I want us to be together in a in a proper relationship. So something massive has shifted, guys. Like, you know, I don't know what has happened here, but the Divine Masculines are just behaving very, very differently right now. Because look, in the past, they were pretty unsure about their Divine Feminine, um, like unsure whether this could work unsure about maybe what move to make. You know, I really do sense that the Divine Masculine here has spent a long time questioning what is the right next step? You know, what is it that he should come in and offer or do? So there's really been a lot of like confusion around the Divine Masculine. And don't get me wrong, he still feels a bit frustrated because it's not fully clear what to do. But he now knows he does want to take a risk or take a chance on this connection. Um, he sees his Divine Feminine as the Queen of Pentacles. So he's really acknowledging the work that, you know, you have been doing. He's acknowledging, um, you know, just how hard you've been working on yourself, how grounded you've become, how like stable and secure. Um, so yeah, he's really kind of seeing your worth, seeing your value. 
Um, so whatever you have been doing lately, keep doing it because this is working like magic. And um, the Divine Masculine is now looking at the Divine Feminine like, okay, I am getting ready to make my move. Three aces here. We are going to have a big new beginning because at the end of the day, um, I don't know what you're doing behind closed doors. I want to be close to you. I want to um, make sure that you are mine. He seems to be kind of questioning what has been going on. We've got ghosting. So yeah, you know, you may be kind of looking at this reading and just like, or watching this reading, sorry, and be like, he's been ignoring me for like a year now. Like he's been in and out of my life. Um, you know, how on earth can this resonate? But look, ghosting and family roots. So even though he may have been ghosting you, he is still now looking at putting down these family roots with you, growing this connection. He's definitely wondering what you have been up to because I really feel a lot of questions here. And we've got time to bake a new love recipe. Let me just get a few more. New beginnings spark up and you hold the key to my heart. So yeah, you may have been experiencing some ghosting here with your divine masculine, but now look, now they are wanting to, to have this fresh start with you, to start like a new chapter in this connection because they're realizing you are the one who has their heart. You know, you hold the key here. You are their queen, their empress. Like this person realizes I don't want to have some kind of bachelor or free lifestyle. I don't want to be the knight always going on adventures. I want to be the king ruling my kingdom with my queen. So the Divine Master here is really having, like I said, this big like change of heart about the way that they um the way that they are doing things and the way that you know, for kind of like the future they want, they really changed their mind about this recently. Um, I really feel the Divine Masculine has evolved really rapidly, like literally during the space of a week. And um, this has been coming for a long time, you know, for a few weeks and even months, we've been picking up on the Divine Masculine in this kind of stuck energy, but going through lots of healing and lessons. It seems like a lot of those have been mastered, guys, because the energy this week is completely different. It's all about fresh starts and taking chances. Okay, guys, I am now going to go into the extended with this. We're going to keep going here. We're going to see what is coming from your divine masculine, when you can expect it to happen, and um, get some guidance. We'll also get a channeled message from your counterpart as well. Um, so yeah, do join me over in the extended for more on this reading if it's resonating with you so far. Um, I will see you guys on the for the extended on sacredspace.co.uk. Details of how to watch that as well as a sneak preview are on the next part of this video, so just keep watching. You do not have to subscribe to watch this video at all. You can just create a free account to watch it. Um, so you know, if there are any questions, just email us at support at sacredspace.co.uk. We'll get back to you on Monday though, because um, we're not, we don't check the emails over the weekend. Um, but yeah, if there's any issues, just drop us an email, but hopefully you guys find the extended okay. Um, I will see you there on Sacred Space for the next part of this video. Um, and if I don't, I will see you back here tomorrow for our morning message. For the extended version, visit www.sacredspace.co.uk. Click on the spirit section at the top of the page and find the video that you want to purchase. You can also filter by category and choose extended. Click purchase to buy this individual video or sign up to the Evolved tier for full access to the Sacred Space site. <laughs>